and in today's video I'll be sharing with you guys 10 tips for clear skin they're basically 10 lifestyle changes that you could incorporate into your daily routine for a healthier skin complexion so if you are interested keep on watching Number one is hydration, so yes, drink lots of water. There are many drinks out there, soda, juice, smoothies, but instead of drinking something super sugary, I recommend just drinking water with a slice of lemon on it if you want some flavor. But what about caffeine? For the coffee lovers out there, there are a lot of articles online saying that coffee is good for the skin but also bad for your skin. And when I looked into it, caffeine can overwork your liver so your liver is working overtime. And that can cause toxic buildup which disrupts the health of your skin. So there was that. But I'm not saying cut it completely out of your routine, just kind of drink it in moderation. And also, coffee is dehydrated which is the total opposite of point one which is hydration and if your skin is dehydrated it is going to cause inflammation and it's not good for aging so definitely keep yourself hydrated and another drink that I wanted to quickly touch upon is alcohol and yes alcohol is not good for the skin because it's super sugary um, and in Korea my dermatologist did say that makoli which is rice wine is okay but not too much of it, just a little bit at a time. Tip number two has to do with food and it's basically to avoid salty foods such as potato chips, kelp, seaweed, french fries, and also avoid dairy, milk, cheese, and any foods that have a lot of hormones such as peanut butter and like shellfish. I recommend that you do your research, but yes, avoid those type of foods. Number three, when you're doing laundry, use fragrance-free detergent and also try to avoid using fabric softeners and sheets because my dermatologist basically said that it creates a waxy residue which can clog up your pores. So there are alternatives that you can use and I remember when I was living in America, my mom used tennis balls and there are also anti-static clean balls that you can purchase online and like in stores. So yeah, try to avoid doing that. The fourth tip I have is something that I have shared before on my channel and it is to keep your towel out of the bathroom because your bathroom has a lot of bacteria. Think about it, the toilet is right there. So keep your towel out of the bathroom um, and also try not to use a towel when drying your face. Just pat it dry and of course it can be difficult sometimes because there are days when I feel too lazy to just pat it dry. So basically what I do is I apply toner using a cotton pad and then I apply it and then layer the toner two or three more times. So try to avoid using a towel and also keep the towel out of the bathroom because if you are going to use the towel to dry your face, you definitely don't want bacteria on there. The next tip is to change up your pillowcases often. Think about it, your face is going to be laying on it for five to I don't know how many hours of sleep you get. Uh, but if you're not sleeping, your pillowcase might collect a lot of dust and maybe even bacteria. So change up your pillowcase as often as you can. Don't pick on your acne. This is a lot easier said than done, trust me. There are days when I can't even follow up with this and if you really have to pick on it or pop the pimple on your own, don't use your fingertips because there's a lot of bacteria underneath your fingernails. So avoid doing that. If you do pick on it, I recommend that you use two Q-tips instead of your fingers. A great free way to treat your inflammation is by icing them because it's really going to cool that area down and basically I get an ice cube wrap it around like a cotton pad or a tissue and I just place it on any rising pimples pimples and scars and I notice that it really calms it down and if you're too lazy to do that I recommend that you keep all your sheet masks in the fridge and you use sheet masks cool 
The final tip that I have to not pick on my acne is by using a pimple patch. This is from Cosrx. It's one of my favorites. The hydrocolloids help treat the acne, and I noticed that instead of picking it, if I apply the sticker on the next morning, all of the gross gunk will be transferred onto the patch. So I recommend that you give these a try. Check ingredients. I've done a video where I shared the best ingredients that help treat and fade acne scars. So if you haven't watched already, click up there to watch. Um, but I also shared in a very old video of mine ingredients that you should avoid in your skincare products. So um, I'll make sure to type it all down below in the description box so that you can check all of the skincare products that you have to make sure that those ingredients are not in there because you definitely don't want pore clogging ingredients in your skincare. And actually, don't just check your skincare, but check your makeup as well as hair products such as shampoo and conditioner. Wear sunscreen. I say this all the time, but I don't care because it's really important. It not only helps prevent wrinkles, but it's really going to protect your scars from getting darker. So wear sunscreen. I'm going to recommend my favorite ones in the description box if you're interested, but yes, super important. Wash up your makeup brushes, change up those puffs. Um, if you don't, you'll break out. I noticed that I was breaking out like right here and that's where I contour and it's because I wasn't washing the makeup brushes. So even if it is one of the most annoying things to do, um, it's definitely gonna show a difference on your skin. And finally, get enough rest. This is actually the hardest thing for me to do because I'm a morning and night person. So on average, I get four to five hours of sleep a day. And I think that's pretty good, but my friends always freak out every time I say that. And I do notice that when I sleep like six to eight hours, Okay, I never sleep up to eight, like six to seven hours a day for like a week. My skin just looks so much healthier and well rested. So um, rest is super important. And for me, this is something that I am working on like every single day. And this year I basically gave myself a rule to stop working at 11 p.m. Like by 11 p.m. my laptop and computer needs to be turned off. Um, this is really hard for me because I like to do a lot of my editing at night but giving myself this rule I have started noticing that it kind of helps me like relax a lot quicker than before because if I'm staring into the light um, it kind of distracts my um, like sleeping schedule it really does so another tip is to turn on your night shift mode on your phone and I think there is a program called flux for your laptop so definitely look into that I'm also trying my best to read more this year and that's been really helpful during the nighttime because it just relaxes me and I love reading so yeah read a book and finally drink tea um, chamomile and lavender tea are like my favorites and in America I noticed that there are teas that says sleepy time on it so if there are sleepy time teas nearby definitely look into those all right so that's it for the tips I hope you guys found this video helpful I noticed that it's been a while since I've done a skincare related topic on my main channel and to be honest it's been really difficult because I don't have my normal setup and my um, like I don't know I just feel more comfortable filming skincare routines in my personal bathroom as well as my room so once I'm back in Korea I can't wait to share like some of the new New products that I have discovered. I've been trying Sunday Riley, Drunk Elephant. I just ordered like a few things from The Ordinary and I just can't wait to share um, like some new skincare products that I have been testing out and my reviews on them. Um, when I filmed my video with Amy for her channel, we filmed the acne products that we are currently loving and I forgot how much I miss talking about skincare so that's why I came up with this list today. And yeah, I hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!